whether you like it or don't like it, sit down and look at it because it's the best going today. Woo! G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box. And please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. Great fight between Canelo Alvarez and Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Canelo won the fight by majority decision. One judge had it 114, 114 to draw. And the other two judges had it 115, 113, Canelo Alvarez. Um, I was at a fight party watching this fight, so I didn't go live for this fight. I also did not write my scorecard down during the fight. Um, I was so, the atmosphere was so crazy. Um, I didn't judge this fight like I usually do. I usually be at the crib at the, you know, on the couch, um, pen and pad. And I'm writing what rounds I had and uh, why. Uh, but I didn't do that for this fight. Um, Y'all know me. I take pride in in uh, scoring fights and predicting fights and things of that nature. But this fight just went a little different because of where I was at um, during the fight. Um, I usually don't do fight parties and stuff like that because um, I like to you know, either be by myself or around very few people that know boxing. So people not asking me a bunch of questions, but um, it just went a little different. So I I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go live when HBO shows the replay of this fight, which I think is going to be next Saturday. Uh, so that should be September 22nd. I will be going live um, for the replay of this fight and I will score the fight live during the replay um, round by round and I'll have my scorecard at the end of the fight of course we'll know the decision because it already happened but I will be scoring the fight live during the replay uh, on the 22nd of September um, and I think it's going to be cool because it's different when you're watching a fight live and when you're watching a fight on tv there's a difference when you're watching a fight when you around a bunch of people and when you're watching it in the privacy of your own home like it's very very different it can be very different so i'm actually kind of curious to see how i'm going to score the fight just watching it in the crib by myself but i'm live with all of y'all so I'm, I'm really going to be curious because it was uh, certain rounds that um, I got different opinions on, like uh, the 12th round, for instance. Um, from what I remembered, I thought it was close, but I thought Canelo Alvarez won the 12th round. But my homie, my big homie, met, you know, he was like, that was a definite Triple G 12th round. So I told him, I said, listen, I said, I got to go back and rewatch it. So that's a round that I'm looking forward to. Um, round one. Um, I thought Canelo Alvarez won round one, but I had some people say that was a definite triple G round. So I got to watch round one. Um, there was a like nine, 10 and 11. Um, I think it was a consensus that uh triple G won those rounds. Um, I think rounds, uh, four and five, I think those were some other rounds that were being disputed. There were a lot of rounds that was being disputed. We would call them in the boxing world swing rounds. Um, so based off of the comments and opinions of, of different people that I respect heavily, it was just um, a lot of swing rounds going on and a lot of difference in opinions um, when it came down to the rounds and it came down to the fight. And that's just um, that's just the recipe of a good fight. This was a really, really good fight. Um, I think that Triple G left a lot to be had inside of the ring I think how he fought in rounds 9, 10, and 11 that's how he should have fought the entire fight and my big homie uh, my little bro, my sports big shout out to him um, he made a real good comment on uh, when I went live after the fight and he said that Triple G should have fought 
Canelo in this fight the same way he did Kell Brook, which was basically, you can't hurt me. I'm going to walk through your shots like I'm Terminator, and I'm coming to get you. And I thought about it, and I'm like, damn. I was just like, yeah. I was like, but I, I said that in the prediction video. I was like, Triple G has to make changes, and it has to be mental. You know, he has to establish that Canelo can't hurt him. And I was just like, once, once Canelo... You know, once he realizes Canelo can't hurt him, then he should just be walking him down and everything should be chest shots. Chest shots, body shots, stalking. First half of the fight. Second half of the fight, turn up. In the first half of the fight, he didn't do that. Like, he he didn't do that. Um, and I think um, the one round that stood out the most to me was round two. Round two, Canelo, Canelo put them paws on that boy. Canelo put the pause on that boy in the second round. Like, he got Triple G's attention. And also, my uh, my homie Jimmy, my homie Jimmy, big shout out to Jimmy. He was on the live last night with me, and he was like, um, he was like, I think it was Jimmy or it was somebody else um, that said that Abel Sanchez told Triple G that he was losing a fight and it was between like round six and seven and I was like yeah <laughs> I was like Abel Sanchez was right he was losing the fight during that time you know what I'm saying but round two was the round where Canelo kind of you know put it on him he he really he opened up the kitchen sink on him you know what I'm saying as far as the offensive arsenal and he got Triple G's attention but then my homie Matt said that he had Triple G winning two out of the out of the first five rounds. So I got to look out for that. There's so much I got to look out for when I score this fight um, during the replay on HBO on September 22nd because there's so many of my, my people's opinions um, that's going to be on my brain when I'm scoring a fight. You know, so I'm actually looking forward to doing this. Um, I don't think there's a lot of people doing this, um, cause a lot of people, they'll say somebody won the fight, but won't have no scorecard. They'll say this person definitely lost the fight, but they didn't score the fight. They just went off the eye test. You know what I'm saying? So I will definitely be scoring the fight, man. I hope y'all join me. Um, I will schedule it as an event. So you will see it. And, um, you know, we just going to do it like that because we got to, you know, I can't close this chapter until I actually score the fight. That's like a ritual for me. I got to score the fight if I'm talking about the fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.